Welcome to Tiger News Today, all the way from your Monday. Another week ahead of us of news here from Thailand. And for those people that keep inquiring about how the cats are, remembering the cats were sort of part of the program, incidentally, as we were doing the program from home for those uh, two months, Deb, Dusty and Dharma are all fine. I'll get some photos for you and post them in the next few days. But for now, let's get started with today's news. Of 251 ties repatriated from the UK yesterday, 20 were found to have high fevers when they arrived at Sawanapum Airport. The Thai Airways charter flight arrived at the airport at 2.20 p.m. Screening found that 20 passengers had high fever and they were rushed to hospital. 16 passengers also opted for the alternate five-star state quarantine facilities, while the rest were transported to the government's specified facilities in Bangkok and Samut Prakan. A Korean Airlines flight arrived last night, also at Sawanapum, bringing 194 ties from South Korea. Screening officers found 13 of the passengers with high fever, 18 of them upgraded their mandatory 14-day quarantine to a designated hotel. Thailand's registered only one new COVID-19 case today, another Thai returnee, this time from Russia. In what's going to come as no surprise to anybody, the Thai road toll has shot up again after a brief respite during the two months of the COVID-19 lockdowns. More people are back behind the wheel or the handlebars, and with that the carnage has returned to Thailand's roads. In Phuket, a truck ploughed into a power pole on Saturday, killing the Thai driver and a Burmese national who was hit by the falling power pole as he rode his motorbike on the opposite side of the road. In the west of the country yesterday, a mother and a three-year-old daughter were killed when the car they were travelling in left the road and slammed into a tree in Kanchanaburi. And another accident in the south killed an eight-year-old woman in Nakonsi Tamarat where the motorbike she was a pillion passenger on was hit by a car. As of our recording time today, 29 people have already died on Thailand's roads on this Monday and another 1,629 have been injured. That's just today. Annually, some 21,000 Thais die on the roads, putting Thailand in the top 10 countries in the world for the most dangerous roads. Pattaya police say they've identified a group of individuals who were allegedly involved with seeking kickbacks from hotels that would be listed as COVID-19 quarantine hotels. However, as none of the hotels involved have officially filed a complaint, the individuals in question have not been charged. Well, not yet anyway. With hotels across the country shut down as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, some people have attempted to exploit the desperation of those in the hospitality sector. The statement from the Pattaya police comes in the wake of the government pledging to crack down on such extortion and identify those responsible. Thai PM Prayut is pressing for legal action to be taken against those involved. Local community members in the southern province are looking for a shark who allegedly bit a boy in the province of Satun. The local mayor even said he'll give a cash reward of 1,000 baht to whoever catches the shark. He even took a long tail boat out on Saturday afternoon to scope out the scene and try and track down the shark. Last Thursday, a 12-year-old was playing on the pier with two of his friends. Something bit him when he was swinging his legs in the canal. The boy is OK, but he's ended up with 50 stitches. Researchers from the Marine and Coastal Resources Department say the bite is most likely from a bull shark. More than 14,000 people have contracted dengue fever this year. 11 people have died. The worst hit areas are the northeast and the east. From January the 1st to May the 25th this year, 14,136 people were found to have caught dengue fever. 11 people have died from the disease during this period. The five provinces with the highest number of dengue fever cases are Rayong, Jayapum, Konkan, Mehong Son and Nakon Rachasima. And police have arrested 25 people for online gambling all the way up in Mae Sot in the northern Thailand, right on the Burmese border. 
Police also confiscated equipment used for the online gaming. Out of the 25 people arrested, five were Thai and the rest were foreigners, mostly from China. Police seized seven computers, 14 smartphones and up to 2,500 SIM cards. The gambling operation also had 50 bank accounts with a total of about 100 million baht. Well, if you're ever up in Mesot there on the Burmese border, it's uh, probably more famous for its beautiful scenery than for online gambling. Anyway, that's all the time we have for news today. Thank you for watching and we'll be back again tomorrow.